Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Piyush Goel and today we are going to dive into the topics that is fundamental to Tipco Business Works, which is processes. If you are working with Tipco Business Works or interested in the world of enterprise integration, you are in the right place. Today we are going to explore the ins and outs of processes in Business Works. Before we jump in, I want to give a shout out to all the amazing viewers. Your comment and supports have been incredible and it keeps me inspired to create the content that's valuable for you. If you are new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out our deep dives into the world of Tipco and beyond. And hey, if you have got any questions as we go through this or there is a specific Tipco topic you want me to cover in future videos, drop a comment below. I love hearing from you and your feedback shapes the content on this channel. Alright, enough talking. Let's get into the nitty gritty of Tipco Business Works. Grab your virtual notebook and let's dive right in. So let's see what is a process first. So a process is equivalent to a service. Basically, it describes the flow of business information between different data sources and destinations. It contains a group of activity that accomplishes the task. So the flow of data between the activity in a process is represented using the transitions, conditions and mappings. So the next one, what is a basically a parent process in the typical business work? So a process that calls the another process or sub process is known as parent process. Next one is sub processes. So there are two types of sub processes. First one is a direct sub process and second one is the service sub process. So a direct sub process is a non visual based. This means you do not need to use a visual to define the sub process details. Instead, you can just set up input and output information on the start and end of the activities in the sub process interface. So basically you have to create this schema. So there will be an XSD that will be having the schemas of start and end activities. And the next one is the service sub process. So a service sub process requires a visual to define the sub process details. So that can be configured using a SOAP or REST bindings. Thanks guys. That is all for today.